morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. So now the past few weeks, I've been giving tips, but not a whole lot of excerpts and things for you guys to play. So in today's video, I thought I would start the year off with a finger twister. Ah! And I'm gonna give you guys one tip to try out to see if it can kind of help make some of these weird finger patterns really stick. Before we do that, thank you patrons. Your support really means a lot. If you guys love what I do and you're not yet a patron, click on the link below, become a patron of my channel. You get lots of cool perks and and like all kinds of cool stuff. So I would love to see more of you guys there. It has been a pleasure the past couple of years getting to know you guys. Also, I have a Facebook group dedicated to clarinets, cats, and coffee. This Facebook group is free to join. It is a closed group group so you do have to request to join but what we do is we just post videos of ourselves playing the weekly excerpt up on the Facebook group we'll get feedback or just you know cheer each other on and applaud each other for getting out the instrument and playing and recording so I would love to hear you guys posting videos of yourselves playing these excerpts on the Facebook group so you know if you're having a good day just get your phone out hit record and just post it up on the Facebook group I promise we're all a bunch of nice people and it's it's a great community okay so the one tip that I have to share with you today, and this is it. It's called Bossy Fingers. And I can't take credit for that. My friend Nora is the one who came up with that name, but I actually learned that concept from a trombone player. I know, but anyway, so I, 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 I learned this from other teachers and I turned it into my own thing and, and here it is. So what you do is you say the note name and you do the fingering and that's it. And a lot of times, many of us, our, our ears are like a lot better than our fingers are. And so our ear will expect one thing, but like our fingers will press a different button and then we're surprised because we like did the wrong thing, right? So if you eliminate playing and you just practice the fingerings, and you practice reading the note name out loud, it can actually really help connect the dots. And then when you actually go to play, you're not like surprised by wrong notes and all kinds of weird stuff. So I will demonstrate. We will see if I get tongue tied or not. And I say bossy fingers because you have to really tell your fingers what to do, which button to press, and you gotta do it confidently. If there's not enough confidence there, you gotta do it again. So here we go. G, B flat, E flat, C sharp. That was the wrong fingering. What am I doing? Okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay. G, B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, A, F sharp, D, F, A flat, D flat, B, C, G, E, C, E flat, G flat, C flat, a, B flat, F, D, B flat, C sharp, E, A, F double sharp, A flat, E flat, C, A flat, B, D, G, F sharp, E sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, A, C, F, D sharp, E, B, G sharp, E. G, B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, G, F sharp, A, rest. B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, G, F sharp, A, rest. B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, B flat, A, E flat, D, C, A, F sharp, G, C, A, B flat, G. Okay, so there are a couple of instances where my brain just kind of froze for a moment. So I really like doing this exercise because it really makes me focus on the note, reading it properly and doing the right fingering. And it just, it kind of, 
kind of hurts my brain a little bit and uh, gets me a little tongue tied. So I'm going to try it one more time and I'm going to try it maybe a tiny bit slower to see if I can be a little bit more confident with my fingerings and the note names. So here we go. I'm going to try it again. Feel free to join in this time and do this along with me. I'm going to try to keep a consistent tempo, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. So let's try this. <clears throat> Two, ready, go. G, B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, A, F sharp, D. F, A flat, D flat, B, C, G, E, C. E flat, G flat, C flat, A, B flat, F, D, B flat, C sharp, E, A, F double sharp, A flat, E flat, C, A flat, B, D, G, E sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, A, C, F, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E. G, B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, G, F sharp, A. Rest, B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, G, F sharp, A. B flat, E flat, C sharp, D, B flat, A, E flat, D, C, a, F sharp, D, C, A, B flat, G. All right, that wasn't too bad. So I want you guys to try this out and let me know how it goes. If you have any other tricks for learning fingerings and weird finger twisters and stuff, leave them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing many of you, hopefully this time, posting on the Facebook group. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, a good rest of your week, and as always, happy practicing. Gosh, he's so cute. I'm just gonna sit here. No. Okay. Well, he's not interested.